One of the unique plants that we have in our treasure trove of offerings is, is a plant called sesame. People are familiar with it, with sesame seeds on your bun or sesame oil for cooking perhaps, but a lot of people don't know what the plant looks like or why you would want to use it in a cover crop mix. Uh, this, this is uh, sesame out of Oklahoma. Uh, so even though it's 60 days of growth and it's only about two and a half feet tall here, but it's already blooming quite well, which means it would work really well in a pollinator mix, which we have it in our warm season pollinator mix. But Dale, what would be some other reasons you would put sesame in a mix? Well, um, we get calls all the time, you know, what can I plant that deer don't eat? <laughs> or what can I put in my cover crop mix that'll still be left over to provide cover after the cattle go mm -hmm. through? Nothing in their right mind eats this plant. <laughs> but everything in their right mind eats the seed because this seed has, it's, it has a very high oil content, similar to like sunflower seed, but unlike sunflower seed, it doesn't have a hole on it. Mm -hmm. So animals can just gobble this stuff up. It's, it's like uh, some, having someone peel all the wrappers off your mini Snickers bars. It just has tremendously high energy content, a high in protein, high in energy, very, very beneficial for wildlife, quail in particular. Yeah, so we want the short season type, which is, this is what it is. Like I say, it's blooming, this will set some seed. Uh, but it's also very, very heat and drought tolerant. I mean, yes. it's typically grown in the south, Oklahoma, Texas, because it can really stand up to a lot, a lot of heat. And because it doesn't get grazed, you can put it in a grazing mix, like you said, Dale. The cattle will come through and eat everything except the sesame. You can let it bloom out, make seed, and then that will support your quail and pheasant and dove populations for later on. So we really like this in our uh, warm season pollinator mixes. We like this in our upland game bird mix, producing that high energy seed for later in the season. And then there'd be certain times where you might want to put it in a grazing mix uh, if you don't want everything just grazed to the ground. Yeah, and again, it is a completely different plant family than most of our offerings, so it does offer that vital diversity that we're always looking for.